what is up everybody this is going to be a short one mainly because this is a new setup i got a mixer and an xlr setup now uh because i am not going to be going up to seattle anytime soon uh which is something i'm going to talk about in this short little thing at the end of this video I am going to attach my stand-up that I did in honor of Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald died, he passed on of cancer a few days ago, and it is important to me on the road to SNL to pay homage and also just simply to put this out there that I am currently dealing with that death and taking it fairly hard, mainly because Norm was definitely one of the people that I had not only wanted to see perform live someday, but mostly shake his hand and work with him as a fellow comic, as an artist, and as a person on SNL. And I know for as hard as I'm feeling right now, there's no way it's even close to how people like Lauren Michaels feel right now. So my heart goes out to you, Lauren. I just want to say that I really mean it too because I saw your interview with Norm on the Norm Has a Show, question mark, and I really, really saw how close the two of you really must have been. So that being said, here are a few updates. What I've been up to, the reason I have this beard, it's not because of Norm. It's not a depression beard, believe it or not. I know normally when I look like this, it's because I'm severely depressed. This is actually my working beard. It is basically what happens when I'm in work mode. And for the last four days, I have been securing a venue for two shows. October 15th, if you're LA local, it's going to be at the Fourth Wall Cafe and Comedy. Um, and October 21st, Thursday night, I will be having promotional flyers coming out this week with all the comics. And each comic is going to get their own to promote with. And then I am also going to be having tickets printed so that I'm going to be going to beaches. I'm going to be going to different venues, music halls, museums. I'm just going to be getting out there and seeing what sticks to the wall, essentially. This two shows, these two shows are specifically so that I can have a setup template to begin preparing for a major thing that's going to be coming in December. I don't want to say too much more. Uh, this is not a podcast. This is a video log. And it's mostly just so that I can test this mic out and mostly so that I can attach my stand-up, which I did perform a few nights ago. Actually, the, di the day that Norm died, I went out. And comedy is therapy. A lot of times, comedy is a lot of things. And in this case... First time, long time, comedy was therapeutic for me. I was crying for hours on end when I discovered that, Lord, or excuse me, that Norm had died. Oh, geez. Freudian. I rarely knock on wood these days, but that one felt like I should. Ooh, baby. So, SNL season 47 is about to premiere October 2nd, just in case you're unaware. I recognize that I haven't been doing my reviews and everything like that. But I assure you, now that I have this set up, and once I learn how these buttons work and learn how to do all the fun things, then I guarantee you that you will be seeing a podcast with weekly drops, and I will be functioning with a Patreon account. I will be setting up ways to donate money. Um, what else can I say? I wanted to keep this fairly short. Since it's mostly just to catch people up that I'm alive, mostly just to uh, show people that this place is the current studio until I secure a better one. However, I really don't mind that. I just need to make sure and clean it up better. Um, a few updates. I went to the Rat Kim and Jazzy Jeff show. I got my t-shirt signed, The Future Player. And Rakim Allah signed it. That is a big deal because 
a lot of people probably would have loved to meet Rakim. A lot of people would have loved to meet Jazzy. A lot of people would have loved to go back with them. However, they didn't get to. This was not like the Seattle show where you could pay money to meet Eric B. and Rakim. Uh, this was not like the Sony show where that was not even possible at all. This, in fact, was a matter of connection. This was the first time that I recognized I am definitely starting to become who I'm meant to be. So, future audience, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. Uh, now it might be when I say, click that like button, click that subscribe, click all that fun jazz. However, I'm not really sure what I'm doing at this point other than working. I am working. Very much. I've been in L.A. for a year coming up in the next week. And that means that I messed around. And I, I didn't mess around, but with my autism, it's no excuse. With my um, just everything, there's no excuses about it. I finally started hitting mics more than once a week, more than twice a week, going to multiple mics at multiple locations only three months ago. And I should have been doing that almost as soon as I got to L.A., which shows you why I do not call myself a stand-up comic. I don't even call myself a micer. I honestly don't see myself as a micer. I have 15-plus years of improv experience. I did start the Groundlings program, and I have been working on networking with people that are sketch performers, potentially. I definitely fully intend on stepping my game up in the next three months. I really mean that. Matter of fact, that's one of the main problems right now in my life. I have been dropped by two therapists, which is fine. I moved on. I have a psychiatrist now. However, the psychiatrist still hasn't been able to feel comfortable. And I'm cool with that because I really want this psychiatrist to do this right. However, I'm working to get prescribed some medicines to help with my focus skills. And that is something that I never thought I would do again. Those who are unaware, which would be most of you, I had a lot of medicines put in my body before I was 18, before I owned my own body, basically. And it really wrecked my body entirely, permanently, in fact. And that's fine. However, now I'm ready to, as an adult, discuss medicines that might be able to help me because I've been doing meditation somewhat, but not enough. Yoga, not at all, and I should. I haven't been touching my guitar like I need to. I need to be playing that guitar, and I haven't been. This room, this studio, if you will, is not where it needs to be. However, it is greatly improved since when I first got to LA, and I will say that. So other than that, if you aren't already, you can follow fps.comedy on Instagram. You can also follow, I'm not as active on, futureplayer.tbd, which stands for to be determined. Most likely, though, my name will stay and remain the same, Future Player JDK, JDK. When I get to SNL is another story. I won't be the future player anymore at that point. What else can I say? Um, the shows are really important. That's my main thing for the next five weeks, pretty much. I'm going to be focused on these shows and promoting them, getting the tickets out there. However, mostly that's going to be this next coming week. And then otherwise, I'm going to be able to start doing more with the characters, with the editing. And ideally, in the next few days, I will hear back from my psychiatrist. I will be able to start medicines. And I will be able to start get it, getting uh, more refined about things. I have a few different sketches that I filmed that I need to edit together. And I also have been writing. That is definitely certain. And I've been working on some lyrics for some raps. Uh, not the comedy raps for Taxi 96. And not the comedy music songs for Whiteface. 
uh, name to be changed, I'm sure. However, White Face is just a gimmicky, fun name for the character. And other than that, these raps are actually legit. And they are going to be amazing. Um, I am actually, one of the things I have been doing more in the last few weeks is working out. Uh, about a month now, I've been on a program with a lot of weight gainers. I know it doesn't look that way. However, believe me, I'm definitely starting to get bigger. Uh, I forgot how hungry you get. And so I need to make sure and get on that. I'm going to have to start. I do have more of a stable diet forming, which is good. However, my caloric intake is not high enough. It needs to be higher, and I will be working toward that. I need to increase it by at least 1,500 calories a day to increase size mass. What else can I say? Uh, there's not much else. Uh, the end of this video is going to be my set that I did the other day for Norm and for all of you to appreciate. Uh, stay tuned, definitely. and. Keep it, keep paying attention, and otherwise, I mean, I appreciate, I really mean this. I appreciate all of you that watch. So if you want to comment your favorite memories of Norm, or if you want to comment what you'd like to see from me, I can apologize that I haven't done the movie reviews with my characters, and I haven't done the TV show reviews, and I haven't done the reviews in general. That's mostly my lack of focus but also just the fact that i've been exhausted a lot often from doing these mics and things however i'm not doing the mics nearly as much anymore mostly because now i am truly dedicated to getting these shows off the ground and uh i will say this wednesday i went to the dirty show and saw Corey and chad doing what they do best and I got to shake hands with Gonzo again so that's good because there are things coming in December which I won't talk about right now let's just put it simply Corey and Chad are going to be involved as far as comics that I have that I've known and I am actually finally here in LA I really am here in LA and I'm finally starting to realize that what that means. So that being said, um, I will say this, the set that you're going to watch is wonderful, amazing. I am very impressed with it. I think Norm would have been, you know, eh. Uh, but you know, like there was a set before, but dumb, dumb forgot how to use his camera. Oh, speaking of cameras, this will be improved. I have the Alpha 600, and I will be learning how to Bluetooth it in so that way I have the best, po best possible video quality for everyone. And, um, yeah, I mean, on Monday is a big deal. I have my producer, director, and uh, just all-around great friend of mine coming in town for the first time since COVID happened from New York. It's very low key, so I'm not gonna name drop. It's very low key, so I'm not gonna talk much more about it. Other than suffice to say, I will be doing some readings and I will be doing some other things and I will mostly be securing this connection once again. I do fully intend on keeping everyone involved more. So make sure and comment, let me know what you wanna see from me. And otherwise, I'll just say that the set that didn't record did have a little thing that I did want to do a little bit of real quick. And it's nothing special per se, just to the tune of Danny Boy. And it's mostly because I love Norm so much. And uh, yeah, it's another Mac down, another Mac down, so to speak. Another Irish American, American Irish Scotsman, a little bit of English, similar to me. And it was kind of like this it was, oh, normie boy, the pipes, the pipes are called from glen to glen and comedy venue.
something like that. Uh, my voice is sour right now. It's just what it is. Thank you, everyone. And make sure you do whatever you want to do, actually. I appreciate all of you. You are the future audience. I've been the Futures player, JDK. And here's my set for Norm in honor of. Rest in peace, Norm. FBS. All right, coming to the stage himself, Mr. FBS. I feel like that callback was just for you, Maxwell, because he said SPF. He didn't catch it. Oh, yeah. That's a callback to Monday. Uh, Y'all should check out Mondays at uh, Hot Mama's Place. Definitely. I'm going to call it the place. You know? Uh, you know, this, this, this mic here at Delicious Pizza is also wonderful in the sense that it's something new every time. Uh, today, Big Dog crop dusted me. You know, for a second, you know, insert joke so here, bad. big man, but I'm just... So bad. Yeah, no, it was terrible. It, I thought chat happened, but it did not. Uh, I know what you're thinking here. I'm auditioning for every reboot of a Steven Seagal flick. <laughs> I'm actually just in mourning. Uh, another Mac yeah, bites the dust. Unfortunately, Norm passed away, if anybody's... Not familiar, though. Just about every comedy venue in L.A. and every comedian has made sure to let us know Norm passed on from cancer. Nine years, sir. He always kept it personal, though. It's kind of an impressive thing about him. He could keep his personal life separate. Is the cap short for Cavanaugh by any chance? Cavanaugh, yeah. I am a Cavanaugh as well, with the K. Yeah, Irish yeah, side. I'm C, but we're... Oh, same difference to yeah, me, yeah, man. Yeah. Same difference. Uh, I believe the Scottish is the C, but I could be wrong about that. Okay. I'm wrong about a lot of things, matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> Are y'all so I am gay, but by the second definition. Very happy, whimsical. Uh, I'm also queer, but by the second definition, just strange, very peculiar, on account of the autism. <laughs> I figured I'd just fill you in on those ones. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, what else can I say? Oh, Kayla, I noticed earlier you have the uh, butterfly on your back shoulder. Is that before or after Britney? I inspired by, possibly? It was not. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't sure if you were part of the Project Monarch or not. I love That's a low-key drop for the QAnon references right there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? That uh, oh, Project Monarch, <laughs> uh, MK Ultra. Yes, the Nazis are still around. That's just facts. We, we're paying attention, people. I mean, so uh, I was observing, you know, speaking of people, uh, you know, like whether or not they're vaccinated. Well, we know the ones that were in the stadiums definitely were vaccinated, right? We're all following here. Uh, it's my impression, though. It's just like a, a person at the, at the, you know, they're just shoveling food. <laughs> those, those, are, those are vaccinated people. <laughs> Drinking, you know, tons of $18 beers and just shoveling food. That's not good for you. But sports have always been about consuming things that aren't the best for you, including sports. <laughs> you know, it's fun to fuck with people. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't sports. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I I do find it fascinating, though, because I was watching the uh, news, and it's like most of the people didn't have masks on even when they're being interviewed by the news, right? You know, it's ridiculous at this point to me, vaccinated or unvaccinated. Get the dogs going, right? I mean, Dor McDonaldson would appreciate that. No, man, it's wonderful, Caitlin. I love this place. I love both of them. I've been to all of it now. Uh, I read. I finally read the details on that fill-out form. If you do this enough, you get the show or something like that. You know, I was just laughing because I've seen you a, quite a few times now, and it's just it's fun to me. You know, I really do enjoy it though. You, I thought you guys have only been doing it since March, but it's so impressive. Like it really is. You guys. Are, I mean, she jokes about it becoming an empire, but at this point, you're dominating every single local mic I've seen at this point. No lies. I mean, you know, like those, uh, remember the rapper crew and stuff, yeah. you know, thousand. And then what was yours? Your millionaire. And then he's two cents because you give it to him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, hey, hey don't bring that up. <laughs> you know, yeah. Oh, half dollar. I'm cool with that. I like the half dollar. JFK's on that one. Yeah. Talk about uh, Irish Americans. You know what I mean? Definitely, Kennedy's representing. I mean, I mean, you know, it's also interesting to say owners and dogs are very similar. You know what I noticed? Your dog does. You threw the ball. Your dog legitimately got the ball. Didn't come back. Did a full lap around this entire area to come back to you. Oh, it's it's very fascinating stuff. Uh, 
So if you haven't checked it out, unfortunately now there can't be a second season. Thank you, Netflix. Uh, but <laughs> Norm has a wonderful show. It's uh, it. I still recommend everyone check it out. It's uh, it's called Norm has a show with the question mark, which is wonderful. Lots of great interviews. I learned about him that he loves Red Bull. So I'm gonna crack a Red Bull. If anyone has a drink handy, we do a quick cheers. I won't mess it up this time. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's one of my favorite Irish cheers. It's uh. Here's to uh, you and yours and me and mine. If ever we should have a time, may it be as good as it was tonight. So everyone, give a round of applause. Let's uh, ship them off to Boston, right? Yeah, Thank you, Cab. I appreciate everything you've done tonight. Norm, rest in peace, man. You and uh, home dude Carlin up there in the Catholic section, cheer me on. Love you, Norm. Let him hear it. The solo Kavanaugh. Yeah, baby. That's the 6 p.m. mic.